BBC News. The Israeli military has stressed that there will be no ceasefire in Gaza, but it says it will observe localised pauses in fighting to allow civilians to leave areas in the north. The White House called the move a step in the right direction. The Palestinian armed faction Islamic Jihad has released a video of two Israelis, an elderly woman and a teenage boy, who it says it's holding in Gaza. The group says it's prepared to release the hostages for humanitarian and medical reasons if certain conditions are met. France says it has confirmed suspicions that Russia was involved in a graffiti campaign featuring the Jewish Star of David in Paris. The ministry accused Moscow of exploiting the crisis in Gaza to create tensions in Europe. Nearly two weeks after being abducted by Colombian rebels, the father of the Liverpool footballer Luis Diaz has been released. The ELN rebel group has described the kidnapping as a mistake. Surgeons in New York say they've carried out the world's first complete eye transplant. The recipient underwent 21 hours of surgery to receive the new left eye after a serious injury. It's not certain he'll regain vision. Portugal is to hold a snap election in March after its socialist prime minister, Antonio Costa, resigned amid an investigation into possible corruption. Mr Costa denies any wrongdoing. The Hungarian parliament has approved the deployment of a military mission to Chad, which Budapest says will help combat terrorism and curb illegal migration to Europe. The influential American feminist news site Jezebel is shutting down after 16 years online as its owner grapples with a downturn in online advertising. BBC News.